In this video, we will be discussing about various aspects that affect the functioning of the ecosystem. They are productivity, decomposition, energy flow and nutrient cycle. So we will be studying what the productivity is there, how and what are the different steps of decomposition. How does the energy flow in an ecosystem because we know that energy is stored in the form of chemical energy from the sun by the green plants and how does it flow through an ecosystem that we will study in energy flow. Various type of nutrient cycles that are there for example they are carbon cycle, oxygen cycle, water cycle, phosphorus cycle, so on. So we will be studying various aspects that affect the functioning of the ecosystem. Now we will see what does the productivity mean. Productivity is, uh, we can say, it is the ratio of biomass production in an ecosystem because uh, kisi bhi cheez ka production is termed as productivity so here in an ecosystem the production is of biomass so rate of production of biomass is called productivity the units are gram per year which is in mass and kilocalories per meter square per year. It is in energy form. That means we can you define the productivity in the form of biomass as well as in the form of energy. Productivity is gross primary productivity, net primary productivity and secondary productivity. So gross primary productivity is the rate of production of organic matter by the green plants only during photosynthesis. That means how much organic matter is produced by the process of photosynthesis is called gross primary productivity and it is the total amount of sun's energy that is fixed. Here meaning of fixed is the energy which can be utilized further. Net primary productivity because we know that um, apart from photosynthesis one more important process is a continuously going on in an ecosystem and that is respiration. So the respiration requires energy. So total energy fixed is gross primary productivity and gross primary productivity minus respiration is your net primary productivity or NPP. Sometimes the abbreviation GPP or full form of GPP and NPP is asked in the examination. So GPP is gross primary productivity and NPP is net primary productivity. Secondary productivity, you see here the we are talking about only the producer. In gross primary productivity, we are talking only about the producers that is green plants which can photosynthesize or we can say the autotrophics are uh, including the Energy which is fixed by autotrophs is known as gross primary productivity. Now if we come to secondary productivity, it is the rate of formation of new organic matter by the consumers. Now consumers, they are consuming the autotrophs. So naturally the rate of formation of new organic matter by consumers is known as secondary primary productivity. Now we come to second aspect which is affecting the functioning of an ecosystem and that is decomposition. 
Decomposition is the breakdown of complex organic matter into inorganic substance like carbon dioxide, water and nutrient. And this process is called decomposition that we have studied in previous classes also. Only the definition of decomposition. Here two more words. One is your detritus. Detritus is the dead remains of plants and animals. So detritus is the dead remains of plants and animals. And detrivores, the animals that feed on decaying organic matter. Decaying organic matter is the detritus. So naturally the breakdown of complex organic matter, that organic matter is detritus. The organic matter is detritus and the breakdown takes place by detrivores. Now we have different steps in decomposition, fragmentation, leaching, catabolism, humification and mineralization. So these are five steps of decomposition. Now we will see in detail the mechanism of decomposition and take one by one all the five steps. So fragmentation of detritus. You see detrivores feed on detritus. When they feeding, while feeding they break down these detritus into smaller particles which increases the surface area of detritus. For example, when we are eating a chapati and uh, we are biting or chewing our food by our teeth that breaks down our chapati into the smaller pieces mechanically and yet increases the surface area of our chapati. So similarly, detrivores when they feed on detritus, they break down the detritus and this increases the surface area of detritus particles so that microbes can act very easily on a wider area. So that is your fragmentation. Second is leaching. Leaching is a process in which soluble inorganic nutrients dissolve in water and percolate through the soil and they are removed due to leaching action. Catabolism, it is the process in which decomposers release enzymes. They decompose detritus into simple inorganic compounds. Next process is humification. Simplified detritus, which was done by catabolism, is converted into humus. Humus, we know that the uppermost layer of the soil, which is dark in color, and it is highly resistant to the microbial action. It decomposes very, very slowly and it is the reservoir of the nutrients. And we say that the topmost soil is the most fertile soil, uh, fertile layer of the soil. And it is a nature, it is colloidal in nature. And next process is mineralization. In this process, humus is degraded and it releases inorganic substances in CO2, H2O, etc. And nutrients such as calcium, magnesium and potassium. So these were the various steps of decomposition in an ecosystem. There are various factors that affect the rate of decomposition. One is the chemical composition of the detritus. Chemical composition of the detritus, it is a very important factor which is affecting the rate of decomposition. Decomposition rate will be slow when detritus is rich in lignin and chitin. And rate increases and rate increases 
when detritus is rich in nitrogen and water soluble substances like sugars climatic condition is also one of the important factors that affect the rate of decomposition the warm and moist environment favors decomposition whereas low temperature and anaerobic acids inhibit decomposition so these are the various factors which affect the rate of decomposition so in this video we studied about the different aspects which are affecting the functioning of the ecosystem and in detail we studied about productivity and decomposition in my next video we will be discussing about the two more aspects one is your energy flow and nutrient cycling